Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and welcome to my ingredients analysis, application demonstration, and wear test of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. My videos help you to become a more informed consumer because I dive deep into the ingredients going into our skincare, cosmetics, hair care, and dental products using evidence-based research. You should absolutely know the ingredients going into your personal care products and I'm here to help you do just that. If you're not interested in the ingredients, feel free to skip ahead. I have timestamps in my description box below, as well as clickable timestamps pinned as the first comment in this video. Now, let's get into these ingredients. The Fenty Foundation is water-based and it's absolutely packed with emollients. That's something I expect to see when I'm looking at the ingredients of a hydrating foundation. Some of the emollients within this formula are my favorites, including glycerin, which is a super hydrator and a humectant. Humectants are water binding molecules and what they do is they grab the water on the surface of the skin and even from the atmosphere, they pull it in and they just hold onto it, giving your skin a temporary youthful plumping effect. I love humectants because I am 37 years old. I have some fine lines and emerging fine lines underneath my eyes and I want them to be plumped up as possible. We also have caprylic capric triglyceride in this formula and that's a combination of coconut oil plus glycerin so once again we're having that wonderful glycerin ingredient. This formula also contains sodium hyaluronate which is another humectant. This is hyaluronic acid but it's in a smaller form which means it's going to penetrate deeper into the skin. There's also grapeseed oil in this formula and that has antioxidant effects as well. This formula also contains many different silicones. Silicones help to prevent transepidermal water loss, meaning that the water that's within our skin stays there. It can't leave and that's because the silicone forms this lattice-like structure on our skin and although nutrients can pass through the holes in the lattice, water molecules cannot. So in addition to providing a nice glide, a nice smoothing effect with the foundation, it's also helping us to prevent moisture loss. Moving on from the emollients, I want to now touch on the texture enhancer that's magnesium sulfate, and that's going to enhance the sensory effect with this foundation. We also have two thickeners, and I do wanna point out that the Diceremonium Hectorite also works as a suspending agent. That means it's going to prevent the heavier ingredients within the formula from sinking to the bottom. We have two solvents. Solvents help to dissolve other ingredients in the formula to make the formula very consistent. There are also two opacifying agents within this formula. I do wanna point out that cosmetic grade talc is okay to have in a foundation. It has been approved by the FDA. I will link their statement on talc down below. If you're interested, check out my description box. Finally, we have a few different preservatives as well as a fragrance ingredient. Now, this is the one that I thought, ah, why is that in there? I really don't like to have fragrance in any of my cosmetic formulas. It's hard to avoid, but it's best to do so because especially with this ingredient in particular, it's very vague what's in the fragrance and it's considered a trade secret. So cosmetic companies don't need to release the ingredients that they put into their fragrance. There could be 200 different chemicals and we just don't know. So those are the ingredients in this formula. I hope you enjoyed learning about them. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below if you learned anything new. Now let's move into the product packaging. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation comes in this very edgy looking black and white packaging. On the bottom, it says that it is 32 milliliters, which is 1.08 fluid ounces. This product retails for $35 in the USA. Here in Dubai, it is 175 dirhams, which comes out to $47.90. 
On the side of the packaging, it says that it is hydrating, medium to full coverage for all skin tones, long wear, and light as air. On the back side, we have the ingredients as well as a few different symbols. There is the open jar symbol here, which has a 12M on it. That means that once you use this foundation, you have 12 months to finish using it up before it expires. I am using a shade 100, and when I open up the packaging, I see the tube inside and when I take it out, I have to say I love the way it looks. It does actually look light as air. It is a very beautiful tube. On the back side, it says to massage well if needed, pump and squeeze tube simultaneously to release air. I will say that the writing on the back is white and that combined with such a light foundation, it is a bit hard to read. When I take off the tube, I see a nice looking, very clean looking nozzle. So let's see what it looks like now. I'm gonna just take one pump it does feel very moisturizing, almost like a facial lotion or a facial cream. And I'm only detecting a very light, somewhat powdery type of scent. It's very, very faint. Now I'm going to take off all the makeup I have on my face with the exception of my eyes, reapply my skincare, and we are going to try on this foundation together. Now that my makeup is off and my hair is pulled back, let's try on this foundation. I'm going to use about one pump and we'll see how far it goes. The first pump only covered about half my face, so I now put two more pumps onto my hand and I'm going to try to see if I can get it to stretch all the way between the other half of my face and my neck. I do want to point out I'm not wearing any primer and that's because I want to see how this foundation will perform on its own and I know that not everybody uses primer. Also I'm using a beauty blender sponge to apply this foundation. I've let the foundation just settle onto my skin now for about five minutes and I can see in my viewfinder that my skin looks incredibly white. I'm not sure how that's going to come out when I edit this video, but in person, it seems like the foundation is maybe only about half a shade too light. And I do remember with the previous Fenty foundation, the first one that came out, it did oxidize on me. So we'll have to see later on if this one oxidizes as well. I wanna say that when I was applying the foundation, I had to work pretty hard to get it on my skin. So it was, a bit thick, a little bit thicker than what I'm used to, although right now, I think my skin looks fantastic and it does feel like this will be a very hydrating foundation. I just finished putting the rest of my makeup on and I have to say, it was so easy to apply everything on top of this foundation. Also, I just love the way my skin is looking right now. It just looks so incredibly bright and my skin just looks so soft and luminous. And this foundation just feels great on my face because I have such dry skin. Whenever I use a foundation that's a little bit more on the drying side, I almost feel like my face is going to just crack in half instantly. And if you have very dry skin like me, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. Right now, my skin feels wonderful and this foundation does feel very lightweight. I almost feel like I'm not even wearing anything on my face and I'm wearing quite a bit. So, so far, so good. I'm now going to go about the rest of my day. I will check back in with you later on today. We'll see how the foundation is looking and if it's crept up into any of the fine lines around my eyes, my marionette lines, and anything else that comes to mind, I of course will share with you. Remember, my reviews are always honest. So I'll see you again later on. It's been quite a while since I saw you last and I wanted to finish filming this video before the sun sets on me. This is the same exact makeup I had on before. I have not touched it up at all. I have to say, in just looking at my mirror, I think my skin looks fantastic overall. It just looks so smooth, so fresh, so youthful, and a little bit dewy. It's just, to me, sort of that 
perfect foundation finish. It has creased up on my under eye area just a tad, and I do wanna mention I did set this with powder. I always use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder on my face, but I do see a little bit of the makeup creeping into those pesky fine lines I have underneath my eyes. I did notice that the foundation seems to have oxidized on my skin a little bit. Oxidation is when the foundation formula is exposed to oxygen. It turns a little bit darker, much like when you slice an apple and the apple is exposed to oxygen, it turns from the pale color to just a light brown the same sort of thing can happen to our foundations. So if you are purchasing this, remember that and maybe consider buying one shade lighter. Now that's how my skin looks. Getting into how it feels, it does feel a little bit tight. Now when I put on the foundation today, I had moisturizer on as well as my eye cream. I did not put on any thick oils or serums on the base layer of my skin. I probably would do that next time just to help to balance out that tight feeling. It is a small tight feeling right now, but I know that if I was to put this foundation on early in the morning, and later, much later at night, I would most likely feel very tight in my skin. Fenty Beauty also does have two primers. I happen to have both of them, a mattifying one and a hydrating one. I will review these two soon and put this foundation on top to see if that helps at all with the tightness. Overall, I have to say that I think this foundation is absolutely beautiful. It's probably more suited to, for somebody with combination to lightly dry skin. For someone like me, this could be problematic as the day goes on and my skin would feel tighter and tighter underneath this formula. But I do think that there are ways to get around that and that would be by doing a more intensive skin prep and touch up throughout the day. I will absolutely finish using this product up and I will definitely use it whenever I'm being photographed because the finish of this foundation is just unbelievable. If you are on the fence for it and you do have pretty dry skin, my advice to you is to get a sample of it first before committing to purchasing the entire bottle. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.